Yep, good day all and welcome to the South African Moon. Okay guys, I'm excited for this video. Uh, today I'm going to review that little manual reel mower of mine. I'm going to tell you what I think of it, if I hate it, if I love it. Um, so I hope you enjoy the video, stick around. Woo! Okay. Before we get to that, just a quick germination update, guys. Just have a look there. I hope you can see that. My word, the sun is bright. I hope you can see that. Uh, the grass has germinated beautifully, in my opinion. I think a big success, but typical. Typical Kentucky bluegrass. Germinates in the first 10, 15 days in ideal conditions, and then it grows for a week, and then it's paused. It just pauses for two weeks. Doesn't grow, doesn't show nothing. So I'm expecting a little bit of a surge of growth, yeah? just have a look we've got germination basically everywhere and as it matures and as it gets older if the temperature stays nice this will fill in this area absolutely beautifully so i've still got the frost nets let me take you to this area i've actually got better germination right here just check how nice this grows i don't know if it's retaining a little bit more um heat here and allowing it to grow a little bit better because obviously we've got a little bit colder nights but beautiful and just get all this that could leaves off there but just check there guys must say i love i know it's not as dark as it is when it's mature but i love that lime green color such an exciting color so that's a big success keeping the frost nets there for the colder nights and uh, just in case we might get a frost however i think they're old enough now to handle a little bit more manly stuff like frost okay the bear patches guys ever so slowly we are recovering there i've told you what i think about me taking out those patches not a great fan of leaving these bear patches in my lawn go and have a look at that video i'm complaining but they're recovering and they're gonna do fine let's get back to that little mower there okay so guys why am i talking about this mower i think purely because um after i seeded i mowed once or twice with my heavy reel mower and i had some damage in the bear patches because i rolled over that with that heavy reel mower and I damaged my seedlings and I completely forgot that I actually have this thing. And uh, once I started mowing two, three, four times now with it, I realized what a machine it is, what its flaws is and what its positives is. So I'm going to tell you a couple of things that I hate and love about this thing right now. Okay guys, so I absolutely love this mower. Um, I'm giving you a hint before I start. I'm just going to run through a couple of pros and cons to tell you what I like and dislike about this mower. And I'm going to start off with the cons because I really want to end on a high when talking, or finishing talking about this product. Okay, so a couple of cons. Um, I've got a list here. You won't be able to see it. Um, it is made of lighter materials, I'm sure, to save weight. Um, but however, that has a few drawbacks. So it makes it a little bit flimsy. Um, like the reel is almost, I'm guessing, about half the thickness of steel of your um, like engine powered reel mowers. So, and also the bed knife, so it could damage a little bit easier. Um, another con is it doesn't give you that perfect cut uh, because it is light, it doesn't push into the grass as much. Another thing is it is a manual reel mower, so it hasn't got an engine, obviously, it's a manual reel mower. Um, so, you have to create all the power for it. So, it is a little bit of a workout. Um, not the end of the world um, in my opinion but it's probably one of the biggest drawbacks the convenience of using this product or the experience while using this product and another thing is because it hasn't got that front roller and that heavy rear roller it doesn't stripe as nice as your heavier reel mowers it's more you get more like the striping look from a rotary mower so those are the cons let's shoot into the pros Okay guys, there's plenty of pros and I, I tell you I'm just going to shoot through them because this, is, this video is going to take like weeks if I really have to go in, in depth of um, like explaining what I mean by every single thing. So if you want any depth video, um, let me know. I'll maybe do like a 20 or 30 minute video just talking about the pros of this thing. But first thing, it's lightweight. You can literally walk with this thing for a kilometer and you won't even feel it. Okay, it's not that light, but I, I'm sure it's like less than 10 kil kilograms. Okay, second thing, it is super compact. It's like 30 centimeters wide. Um, 
<clears throat> it stores so easily you can literally put it with your flippin' broom in the cupboard that's how small it is um, third thing which is one of the biggest things uh, it is so cheap so it allows anyone on the market really with a tiny budget to get into real mowing and it gives that quality cut like a real mower I mean the actual scissor cut of your grass um, for about a thousand bucks brand new you can even pick them up I checked last night on the internet for four and five hundred rand second hand honestly a great machine okay another pro is it gives um, like your real mower it gives that great cut okay so I actually just said that <laughs> sorry what I'm reading off my list but it gives that scissor like cut and you get like a professional cut to your lawn so it doesn't give that whitening off where it tears the leaf plate brilliant another thing it makes extremely low noise okay so this is a mower that you can use at six in the morning without like cheesing off your neighbor if that's a good word I wanted to say the, the P word um, without irritating your neighbor early in the morning or for that matter at night if you've got lights over your lawn um, low noise because there's no engine beautiful okay another pro is very low maintenance no engine, no oil, no fuel, not, no spark plugs, nothing to go wrong. You've only got your reel to sharpen. And that's another pro. You have to sharpen your reel, but it is so easy. Okay, so it is so easy to adjust. That's other, actually another uh, pro about this thing. There's a couple of knobs on the sides here to adjust the height. And there's a knob there to adjust the reel to bed knife setting. We'll get into that right now. I don't know if you can... Uh, could see that uh, but it is so easy to adjust uh, I suppose it could be a con because it's not like very firmly set into position so it could easily um, get out of adjustment but a very good pro there okay and the last pro I want to get to is while you are doing a seeding project like I've done now it is a great mower and that's why I actually decided to make this video because it's so lightweight it doesn't ruin your seeded areas um, especially when you're doing your first second and third cut on seeded grass it really is better because you don't get that turning effect ripping out the, the grass uh, seedlings um, it also gives a good cut so it's not like it's, it tears out the, the new um, seedlings so there's a lot of pros to that but such a great mower I think uh, let's get into mowing right now guys let's just quickly check if this thing is cutting paper another pro just look how easy it is to, to handle this thing it just flips over the handle goes down goes up whatever there it is um, so very easy you can see it's very simplistically laid out um, let me just get my paper here I did backlap it um, oh wait, I won't get this thing I did backlap it a, a couple months ago probably three four months ago uh, but let's just check whether this thing is cutting paper crisp guys oh beautiful and it's making light contact at this moment so just check the the cut there I don't know if you'll be able to see that but that is a scissor like cut it doesn't even tear the paper so I'm pretty confident that this thing is gonna cut my lawn beautifully the nice thing is it always starts in one pool just have a look here Hey guys i just feel i have to get this off my chest it's not the easiest thing to get used to in the beginning because it's got 
uh, like drive on both sides, on both wheels, I mean. Um, it drives on the wheel that turns the quickest. That one kicks into gear. So it makes it a little bit difficult. Sometimes when you walk, um, like the left wheel grabs and then shortly after the right wheel. So it feels like it's going left, right, left, right, left, right. And that could end up giving you like a skew line. So that's one of the drawbacks. And second drawback is when you've got a tough, tough grass type, like a Kuyu with um, like a really tough leaf blade, um, it is a little bit difficult, more difficult to use it um, compared to using it on a soft, cool season grass type like uh, rye grass or Kentucky bluegrass. However, I must confess, the most times when I'm using this mower is like with any of my other mowers in the morning and there is a little bit of dew around. I know it's not ideal to cut wet grass, but I'm mowing while there's dew around and that creates like a, a sliding effect so it just works a little bit easier. I know it's cheating, but that's how I um, don't really get too much bo bothered with the fact that pushing real hard uh, onto this real mower just makes it a little bit easier. Just keep that in mind. Anyway, anyway. Guys, what a cut. I think it looks absolutely awesome. Um, I think the cut quality was great. A little bit of striping as you can see there. But let's uh, quickly have a look at the cut quality. I think that's almost more important. Let's check there, guys. Oh, gee, sorry. Nice, hey, eh, guys? I think it looks awesome. Okay, so I'm quickly going to measure, oh, everything's full of grass now, quickly going to measure the height I've cut now, um, probably should have measured before I mowed, but I'm slowly but surely taking this lawn down, um, I really love the shortcut turf, and um, I think it's a, uh, the temperatures are good enough to pull something like that off, um, so let's have a look at the HOC. Okay, so the height I've cut, oh, this grass is still wet, um, so I'm just going to check what it is, I'm just going to rough it up so it stands up straight because it's now a little bit pushed over um, but a mm. mm, couple of taller ones but they still look cut I think it's just because they were pushed over but I tell you what that is pretty damn close to 18 mil and then some here and there stragglers um, there's not so many reels on that thing I think it's going to have a hard time cutting like a 10 mil I don't even know if it can go that low but now probably about, I'm pushing down quite firm now, probably about 17 or 18 mil here guys. That's a nice short lawn here. Okay. Oh, just look at that guys. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just check there. That thing really cuts nice. Oh, you good thing. I'm sorry that I forgot it in the rain. You can see my screws all rusted there. Probably needs a little bit of Q20. Uh, but all in all, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. or we'll just give you a final conclusion. I think it is a great mower. Um, I think, um, unfortunately, the thing is, it's just a human element. When you've got this, you probably one day want to upgrade to like a proper engine reel mower. Uh, but I tell you what, just getting started or just having this as, a, as an additional mower, absolutely brilliant i think the pros just outweigh the cons by a country mile i think everyone needs one of these and i think striper man is there in the background oh yeah you go boy and uh i don't know if that was an american accent uh but i think he's like oh yes amen amen merrick this is only manual real mowing um so yeah but there's some method to his madness i promise you what a great mower guys i'm going to wrap it up right there thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a like down there subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh 
I think uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully it'll be sh shortly. And um, we're gonna get this lawn nice, real mode, real low. Okay? Bye-bye.